The government has moved to protect renters who have lost their jobs as a result of the novel coronavirus outbreak and the subsequent economic fallout. The nation's leader announced an initiative tailored towards residents whose rent does not exceed $2,000 a month. But one landlord has another suggestion. As he looks at the steps the government has taken, he spoke with our Cleopatra Murphy. New Providence apartment owner and landlord Anthony Williams says while government may have good intentions with its recently announced rental assistance plan, he feels it could have gone further. I believe the government should, this is my opinion, um, come up with a plan where the government pay 50% and then the landlord um, we work it out somehow. Thousands of Bahamians have lost their jobs as the country battles the COVID-19 pandemic and have become reliant on the resources of the National Insurance Board and the Department of Social Services for day-to-day -day survival. The nation's leader announced a much-anticipated rental assistance plan in the House of Assembly Monday intended to assist tenants. It would prevent landlords from evicting tenants no more than a month behind in payments and prevent them from disconnecting utilities, while also affording renters the opportunity to pay 40% of their rent for three months with landlords deferring 60% of the payment for three months. Renters would also have 12 months to catch up on rent, but Williams feels the plan is flawed. Let's say you come to me and they says that, okay, uh, I'll catch you next month. That's, if you catch me next month, it's double, it's $1,200. So how do you get $1,200? So that's the situation you're in now. So if they pay me 40% and they will be the rest, uh, 60%, whatever the percent is to make the 100%, next three months down the road. It can be a disaster. William says he does not have a mortgage and has offered his tenants a month free and has also suggested they trade services, for example, painting or plumbing for their board. But he says other landlords may not have that option. You got to look at the whole scenario. The landlord got to look at the scenario and say, okay, we got to help these people. At the same time, um, the tenants got to say, you got to be committed because they made a contract with you. They signed this contract that every month they pay this amount. And so you expect them to do that. And so, like I say, no landlord. I, I don't believe no landlord can put somebody out in the street. But I got a commitment. And if I don't pay my commitment, then, you know, we, we all be in trouble. The apartment owner says COVID-19 is causing serious fallout for the economy and many tenants are now in dire straits. He appealed to tenants and landlords to be considerate and honest with each other. Uh, in my case, I give a month free. In my case, I, I, I can do that, but some landlord can't do that. And that's what I have done. So I look fine, go ahead. And, but as you know, I have friends who have this, this situation, the landlords, and they and die in need too because they are struck. They lost their jobs too. So it's it's a whole circle. Williams again appeals to government to reconsider its plan to something that, in his view, better suits the needs of tenants and landlords. The Prime Minister on Monday said that landlords depend on rent as their income and to also pay existing mortgages. He also stated that commercial banks indicated they were open to deferring mortgages on rental properties. Cleopatra Murphy, CNS Network News.